G'day everyone and welcome to Pepsing. Now in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create reaction roles and a verification system using YAGPDB. YAGPDB is quite a popular bot and I personally use it on my server as you can see right here, which is also one of the reasons why I've decided to make a tutorial video on how to use YAGPDB. In saying that, this video is actually one video in a series of mine of how to make reaction roles and verification systems using specific bots. You can check out the series and my other videos by hopefully there's a playlist that should pop up on the top right corner here, or you can check on my homepage in the playlist section and you should see tutorial videos. Lastly guys, if you're watching this, I have way more Discord videos coming out in the future, so if you'd like to see any more of those videos, please subscribe so you can make sure that you don't miss out on any future videos. With that being said, let me show you what the final result of having a YAG PDB reaction role and separately a verification system looks like on a Discord server. Okay, so we are on my main server right now, which you can join in the description below or on screen. I'd really appreciate if you guys joined. So I have a channel on the left here called Reaction Roles in which I've made a little section where people can pick up some roles that can add a little more detail to the user's name as part of my server. We have things like gender, age, gaming platform, country, all that sort of stuff. And you also may notice that these reaction roles were posted by the bot itself. But if we go to the test server of mine, you can see that I've also made a reaction role here in which my own profile has made the text and the reaction role. So there's two different ways of making your reaction role. As we can see here, I am on my alternative account, just a simple new member to the server with no roles and I can only see the verification channel. Once I read the instructions and then click on this YAG PDB reaction role, you can see that I disappear from the member list on the right here. And that is because I became verified once I clicked that reaction and I just picked up the verify role. The way I set up the channels means I cannot see the verification channel anymore once I am verified. But as you can see, the verification does work using YAG PDB and is very easy and simple to do. And I will show you guys how to do that. For anyone watching this that already knows how to set up a verification system with the roles and permissions and things like that, then you can skip ahead to the time shown on the screen or the time on the chapters in the description below, or you can just scroll through the progress bar at the bottom of the screen. And then you can skip right ahead to just how to create reaction roles using YAGPDB. So the first thing you wanna do is go up here and click on server settings then go to roles. And now what I always do with all of my servers is turn off every permission for the at everyone role. So just go ahead and make sure there's nothing on these permissions. You may already have it set up differently and I'm sure there's ways around it, but for the way I'm doing my tutorial, you need to have the at everyone permission turned off. Having these permissions turned off is also actually really useful when you make a text mute command within your server. And in the future, I will be making a video on how to text mute members of your server. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, you may never see another one of my videos again if you aren't subscribed or don't have the notification bell turned on. The next thing you would wanna do is press the plus here and create a new role. We'll name it as verified, but you can name it whatever you want. As the name doesn't matter, and this is just simply the verified role, you can literally name it whatever you want. On my server, I've called it the before 10,000 role, but for this video, I'll call it verified. Make it whatever color you want, and then scroll down here, and what you need to do is give it the basic permissions of read text channels and send messages. You can let the role attach files and links if you want, but the basic, basic things you need to have it do is send messages and read messages. Just save changes and you've got yourself a verified role. Then create a brand new category and channel. And then go to edit channel, go to permissions, and then simply for the at everyone role, allow them to read messages as this is the verified channel, so they must be able to read this. Otherwise, they will have no other way of verifying themselves. Also make sure they can read message history and then make sure you turn off send messages as you don't want them sending messages in your verification channel. Otherwise, I'll just mess everything up. Then add in your verified role by pressing the plus here and finding the role. And now you don't have to do this, but if you want the channel to disappear once they're verified, what you can do is with the verified role, make sure they can't read or read message history because once they become verified, they will no longer be able to read the channel. Then with every other channel, you want the verified people to be able to see, you simply go to edit channel, permissions, and make sure the at everyone role cannot read the messages. So for every channel, you don't want just an unverified member to be able to read, make sure they cannot 
read messages. Then go to your verified and allow them to read and send messages. And once that's done, you have a verification system. So now I want to create the reaction role commands just like this one and the one I showed earlier on my other server. So if you head over to yagpdb.xyz, you will land on their official website and you can head over to control panel. You'll then see this screen in which you can click login using Discord, authorize YAGPDB, and then you'll land on this screen. You can go up here and click select server. I don't have any on this alt account, so I'll just head back over to my main account. And then what you can do if you haven't added it to your server before is go down here, find the plus button and your server name, and then add it to your server. Make sure it's the right one, then click continue, and then choose the permissions you would like the bot to be able to have. You don't need to give it administrator. You can get rid of ban and kick if you want, as we aren't currently using the bot as moderation, but you will need the bot to be able to manage roles and obviously send messages and read messages. Lastly, you can see that YAGPDB is apparently used in over 1 million Discord servers, which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's just go to authorize, not a robot, and you have now sent the bot to your server. So quickly just go back to Discord and you will see that YAGPDB is part of your server. What you want to do is go to server settings, roles, find YAGPDB and put him at the top. This will allow it to use its authority over any role that is below it. And it is always recommended to put your bots above all the other members of the server, but obviously not yourself. Lastly, go to edit your verified channel and then add YAGPDB to your channel. Allow it to read and send messages and just let it add files and reaction and use external emojis, save changes and you are done. So we're back on the website. This is the final step you need to do to easily make the bot a reaction role system. So we'll go back up here and find our server, go to tools and utilities and then go to role commands. You could also just scroll down here and find it. So we'll begin with the reaction role style as if you were the one who sent the message, just like this one. And then once we're finished with that, I'll show you how to make the reaction role look like it was sent by the bot. We start on the right here with create new group. You can choose the mode on how you want the reaction roles to be given and taken away. We have standard, single and multiple. Standard basically allows the members to choose as many roles as they want. For example, I use the standard on this message. And if we look at my account on the right here, we can see that when I click moderator, I gain the moderator, moderator again, which would be moderator level one, and then the Australia role, and I get that as well. And what you can do is also get rid of the role by clicking on the reaction once more and all my roles are gone. So that's standard, quite easy. But if you want the member to only choose one reaction out of the multiple reactions you have within the message, then you would want to choose single. Don't worry about the text here. So let's just ignore that. But the main point is if you have single and we look at my account once again and I choose the moderator role once again, I do pick up that. I'm now moderator level two. But the thing is I cannot choose another reaction. However, you still can get rid of your role by clicking on the reaction once more, and then you are able to swap over to a different reaction. Finally, we have multiple, which is basically the same as standard. However, the difference is if we look at standard and then go over to multiple, we can choose the minimum and maximum number of roles we want a member to have when they choose the reactions on a single message. So that is the only difference there. And as you can see, we have all three here. I'll just stick with standard and move on to creating the actual reaction role. What you'll need to do is name your reaction role group. We'll call this one verify. You can click on these options if you want, but we don't need that right now. Create new group. And you'll see it pops up here and below here. Make sure you are on the new group and then move down to create new role command. We're going to call it verify, but what you could do is name it the actual name of the role, such as verified, and then it automatically connects to the name of that role within your server. Make sure that is correct and then create new role command. If we look down here, we can see the role command has been created below the verify group and we've pretty much done all we need to do on the website. If you want to add more roles, you can simply type another name up here, add a different role and then create a new command and they would all stack up below here, but we only need one for verify. So we'll go back to the server. So what you want to do now is create the message you want people to read when they go to react to your reaction role. And what I mean by that is what you can see here is the message I wrote and here's the reaction role below. So just type literally whatever you want to type. This is the message that people will see over the reaction role. I'll just copy and paste my original message and paste it in there. Then all you need to do is type out the YAGPDB reaction role command. I'll write the command in the description below and you'll also see me write it right here. So we just go 
dash role menu space create oops create space then add the name of your reaction role group if we look back here we called it verify so we'll name it that create verify then a space dash m space then you want to grab the message id of the message and the way to do that if you can't do that is you need to go to your user settings and then go to appearances come down here and then turn on developer mode this will allow you to copy the message id of any message you see in your server so anyway go to more copy id paste the message id in then go do dash rr space dash no dm and then that is it you just press enter and the final step is to choose what reaction you want the reaction role to be so let's go to add reactions on the message here and you can choose literally whatever you want i would recommend just sticking with the inbuilt discord emojis as that's the safest way to go in case anything happens to your own emojis so we'll just go with a typical white check mark as you can see it just updated and it is now there you can delete this message and you can also delete this one and now you are officially left with a reaction role i'll just delete the old one and if we test that on my alt account we can see i have no role click the reaction role and all of a sudden i am part of the server okay now let's move on to reaction roles just like the one in my server we'll go back to yag pdb and we'll create a new group for the roles we want to give out for this i will call it moderator if you already have a verification system for a specific role, you can't make another reaction role for that role. And what I mean by that is now that I have a verified reaction role, I can't make another one that gives out a verified role. Anyway, let's just speed run this. I'll choose multiple for this one and minimum number of roles, one. And we'll make the maximum two. Go create new group. Make sure we're on the new group. We'll do mod one. Choose your role and create new role command mod two choose that role add again mod three choose that one and you now have three different reaction roles as part of your group we'll head back to the server and this time we'll type a slightly different code which will make yagpdb send the message instead of us go dash role menu create add the name of the group you just created then space no dm and enter now you have a very similar message to the last one and we'll add our reactions i'll just literally choose the first three and as you can see, each different reaction is going in place of the next role I created. So the final one will be mod one and we'll make a reaction for that. Here it says, here it says we're all done setting up. So we can just delete the message and also delete the command we sent, delete that. And we are left with another reaction role. This time it was sent by the YAG PDB bot and there are two different ways of setting up your reaction role. We can go back to my alt account and we can see that it is here. And I can click on one and I will get it. Click on a second one and also get that one. But if you remember, I made the limit two. So if I try to get three roles, it won't let me. Yet again, YAG PDB is telling me what I can and can't do. And I also made the minimum one. So if I try to get rid of all my roles, it will message me as well. If you want a bot that has different reaction role types, such as verify where people cannot unclick from a role they get or reversed or limit or binding, I would recommend checking out Carlbot and my video on how to use Carlbot as a reaction and verification system as Carlbot is a very good reaction role bot. If you're unhappy with what it looks, you can edit the message to make it look like whatever you want it to look like. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below if this video was helpful in any way. If you enjoy the way I make my videos, please also 
give the video a like. It lets me know that these videos are helpful and honestly also helps out in the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you want to see the other reaction roll tutorials, I would recommend checking them out. They'll probably be in the description below or you can just check out any other one of my videos. Also, I would highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel as I have so many other Discord videos coming out in the future, tutorials, experiments, all different sorts of stuff that you probably don't know about Discord or have never seen before. So if you want to make sure you get recommended a video as you may never be recommended another video of mine, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Lastly, feel free to check out my Patreon. Just $1 a month lets me know that you guys appreciate the way I make my content and are there to support me throughout my creations. I've tried to put in as many benefits and perks as I could to each tier, so feel free to check that out in the description below. Come join my Discord server. This has been a tutorial by Pepsing. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.